Mais. Jay and B on ice, Jay and B on ice. So here we are at the Frank Southern Center. It's the ice skating rink here in Bloomington, Indiana, run by the Parks and Recreation Department. And we just want to say thank you to the Parks and Recreation, and we're going to go ice skating. That's the whole point. J and B on ice, do you get it? It's a joke, you know? Um, J and B, J, me, I'm J, I'm your bartender, actually. Yeah. And uh, B, is, uh, is the editor of this program. He's unlooping the camera from round his neck so that he can show you himself. Yep, there he is, spitting on you, the home viewer. I uh, have never skated before in my whole goddamn life. Well, not, not ice skating anyway, so I'm gonna learn how. Right now. Let's hope it's not too embarrassing. Coupon, so so I asked around here who the hell is this Frank Southern character, but nobody knows except that his picture looms above the fireplace. Oh wow! And every, and every now, now and then, when it's, it's real quiet, you can hear him. They tend to be size large, so my my real shoe size might be twelve. I don't know. I only wear Converse because. Since I used to work in a shoe store, I've already my uh, olfactory bulb there in the nose. I'm I'm used to bad foot odor. on the ice. Thanks, Joe. call this episode J and B on ice um, well it's 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 really pretty simple actually um, this show is called J and B on the rocks as you probably know and uh, and it's an it's a show about alcohol um, hence the 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 clever pun J and B on the rocks you know I'm J B is in there doing the dishes J and B on the rocks you get it please please get it <laughs> if you can't get past that <laughs> There are just some problems here that we're going to have to contend with. But, okay, so, J and B on the rocks, J and B on ice. It's essentially the same thing because, of course, on the rocks means the same thing as on ice. 
um, you know, or over ice, or a drink basically that is made with uh, ice in it. Um, yes, that, that is the essence of this show. It's, it's really just a show which uh, delves into the rather unclever pun uh, uh, on on the, the television show's name. So, unclever puns, that's what this episode is about. Um, yes. Puns. And uh, here's another unclever pun, actually, right now. Um, uh, it's going to be called a right between the ice. You know, bad pun, right between the ice. <laughs> Get it? Okay, so what you need is you... Um, actually, I should be speaking into the microphone. What Which you what? need... <laughs> What you need is um, some ice. Um, so just get it out of your pocket if you have ice in your pocket. Um, I usually carry some just in case I need it. Um, there it is. It's, it's been sitting there for a little while, so it's gotten that nice sheen of water on it, which is oh so important in my personal, professional opinion um, for, the, for the making of drinks. Drop it in the glass, okay? Make sure that they're sitting side by side and not on top of each other. Why is that? Well, because it's called right between the ice. Don't you get it? Right between the ice. In order to pour alcohol, which, uh, due to the forces of gravity, always pours this way, you Down. have to you have to have the the ice beside each other in order to get it between the ice. Right between. Don't the you ice. understand? <laughs> Take some amaretto and just pour it all in, right between the ice. Then you want to add just a half an ounce of some kind of Everclear or other um, uh, high potency grain alcohol. Again, pour it right between the ice. Just a half an ounce at the most. Uh, wow. Pour some orange juice nice in. layered effect. Again, okay. right between the ice, okay? Stir it around with the old finger that you have on the end of your hand. What about your swizzle stick? Swizzle stick, oh my god, I've got a swizzle stick. Um, yes, high technology here on J&B on the Rocks, the oh show which God. glorifies the responsible use of alcohol. You've made a mess. Yeah, part of mixology is also drinking and tasting your own product. So here wow. we go. You're not a Hare Krishna, are you? Wow. That seems to hit me right between the eyes. God damn. The special effects that we, we, we supply here for the viewer are just are just, well, they're high tech, let me tell Very you. Very expensive. Um, Very expensive. Yeah. We delve deep into our own pockets. Yeah. yeah. And the pockets of the community. I mean, yes. Wow, wow. Oh, damn it. Is this keep right? pressing the wrong goddamn button. My so this is my virgin skate here. I've never really skated before, and I, I think I'm doing OK so far. You know, I'm not, I'm not really run into anyone yet or haven't really fallen and gotten my ass well, this is fun, man. This is good, clean fun. This is fun for the whole family. Yeah. It's rare that I have this kind of fun. Usually, my fun is associated with things which are usually either unwholesome. against the law, unwholesome, or just not really fit for home family consumption viewing or something. I don't know. This is, this is good, clean, icy, cold fun. Don't you? Yeah, I do. Yep. What's your name? Elizabeth Gunn. Yep, yep. And do you like to ice skate? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah? How often do you come? Not very often at all. Really? Oh, yeah. well. So here I am at the Frank Southern Ice Skating Center, skating and videotaping myself all at the same time. Can you believe how stupid I am? Stupid, stupid, stupid. But that's what this TV show is about, J&B on the Rocks. Oh, this is uh, airmail from, uh, from... Now, look at these stamps on here. Aren't those, aren't those the craziest-looking stamps you ever saw? Clearly, this is from some other country. I can't even read what country it's from. 
Um, so, it's all folded up here, something special. Um, so, I will uh, unfold it and, and share it with you, the viewer. December 13th, 1993. Dear J&B on the Rocks, I'm writing this letter to you all from Meknes, Morocco. Wow. I just happened to have your address, so I thought I would drop you all a line. I was in Bloomington for a year before I came here. I enjoyed your show a lot. I'm originally from Austin, Texas, so that explains my lingo. Right, right, right. Um, gosh, there's a lot of text here. Um, we'll just kind of select some for you. Here in Meknes, everyone is Muslim, which means alcohol is not for the locals to Copot? Copot. Copot. Yes. Well, we'll have to find out what yeah, that means. Yeah, seriously. If you wish to broadcast my address on your fine program, that is fine, for I love your mail, or love mail, abusive or not. It does, it does cost 50 cents to send uh, a letter, though. Here's my address. This guy's name is Ford. He uh, lives at uh, 44, uh, I guess that's Avenue, well, AV dot Idris 2. Oh, it's his or, address. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Etage 2, number 4. Um, oh, I can't even pronounce it, but you're seeing it there on the screen. Uh, just write it down and write to Ford at that address. Thank you for your kind attention to me, my brothers and only friends. Pr please write soon. I hope your show is still quite the height of fashion. Sincerely, Ford. P.S. Enclosed is a very actual souvenir to prove my tale. A very actual souvenir? Wow. wow. And look at it. It's a uh, some kind of um, what does it say? Fifty on it. Um, it's so a it's 50. A, yeah, it's it's a fifty. Wow, he sent us a fifty thing. Wow, he's um, a fifty. Yeah, I... well, we're gonna have to mix a drink for this fellow because it's the first overseas viewer mail that we've ever made or, yeah. or ever received. So we salute Morocco for its status as one of the world's biggest exporters in the illegal. Uh, cannabis marijuana trade. And of course the capital of Morocco is Fez. You know, Fez, Morocco. Um, with a large population. Casablanca is also there. Um, there was a movie called that. But it had very little to do with marijuana, unfortunately. Anyway, so we're going to mix a drink in honor of uh, Morocco. This is going to be called a head buzz. This is in honor of, of Morocco's preeminent status in the, uh, the world uh, cannabis, uh, illegal cannabis trade. Um, we think that's all right. Yes. Um, hats off to them. Hats, ha or hats on. Fez, the Fez is on. Yeah. Hats. Fez on, hats off. Um, add some vodka, brand unimportant, to a glass. Um, two or three ounces, I guess. Three ounces, that looks like. <laughs> oh, well, this will be a stiffy. Then just a little bit of triple sec um, to give it that nice orange flavor. Um, okay, so this is going to be mostly alcohol, but that's why it's called a head buzz, okay? Then you want to add some of this papaya punch type stuff that you can probably get at Bigfoot. I mean, this is an easy drink to come by. You should have all these things uh, at your disposal right now. Mango madness. Mango madness is what this stuff is called, yeah. Mmm. Wow. That's almost as, as good as smoking big fat joint. <laughs> smoking big fat joint. Almost. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, look. Hey, hey, putting on the skates. Yeah? We're on Lake Griffey. It's, as you can see, it's frozen up. Yeah, this is what I like to do. More fun than anything in the world, I'd say. Wow. What do you think, Steph? Fine. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> Whoa! Hit the dirt. Good skating. Here, let me help you up. Oh. Why do you want, why do you have, have a TV show? Well, because it's fun. Do you want to have a TV show? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, all you have to do is, is make one. And then they'll put it on television, thanks to this channel, Bloomington Community Access Television. It's a place where you can have fun. I've decided to play it safe by using this safe and very permanently 
sealed, oil-filled electric radiator. It's totally safe. It says so in many, you know, safe and sure, okay? And it's silent and efficient. But, you know, I'm still freezing to death. And I think it's better to be unsafe, like warm, because she's warm. Let's go take a look. So come on, come on down here. It's the warmest room in the entire house. It's uh, due in part and well, all, all together because of this unsafe heater that I have. And you can probably hear it going right now. Um, it's one of these old, what they call a cow house heater. And you know, they'd put it in there, but of course the cows would knock it over and it would be, it's a very unsafe, very loud. But you know, it's so warm in here that I, I could just take my shoes off or take, you know, just all my clothes off and um, just lie around completely naked and um, I'd be warm. So I don't understand what everybody's complaining about. I think it's really nice and warm in here in our house. Um, you just have to, you just have to have the, the right attitude, you know, you put on your coat and, oh, it's nice. Clothes. I think, I think Christy and Kelly are just crybabies. So this is what I get for being unsafe. Oh my God. Yeah, well, Christy, I must say that safety wins out in the end because, well, I get to maintain this spelt shape and I don't have to find a babysitter. <laughs> Christy, do you think you could babysit? I don't think so. Why don't you just stay home and cradle the baby in front of this thing? Go for it. at that stack of viewer mail we've got there that we have to deal with right now. Yes, another letter from one of our many ardent fans. Hey, look at this. This person sent us, oh, look, some camel cash. Wow. It's almost like real money, except, well, it's actually just a, a cheap marketing ploy. Um, Hmm. Along with, they also sent the Surgeon General's warning. Oh. Smoking by pregnant women may result in fetal injury, premature birth, and low birth weight. You know, that, that's true, but that only applies to, to smoking cigarettes. You know, for instance, if you're smoking pot, you don't have those kind of worries. Okay, so dear J and B, I would like to start out by saying I'm a big fan of the show J and B on the Rocks. Confessional. I called you, Jay, at a certain phone number saying that I was Mark Peck. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was like 2.30 in the morning. I have to admit that Mark Peck is not my real name. I was just scared that you would hang up if I just said that I was a great fan. Please do not be mad at me. It's nice to know that you, Jay, actually hang out with B and his wife, Christy Paxson, at his crib. Um, here's a great drink recipe for you. A frontal lobotomy. Wow. Keep up the good work. Howdy, Christy. All alcoholic beverages are, are, of course, simulated. Good point. And uh, this is signed from SD and AR. Wow, well, we'll make this right now, so watch this. Um, the first thing it calls for is two ounces of wild turkey. Um, now, I'm not sure that the, that the turkey that we have is wild, but it, uh, it's, it, tur I figure the turkey pastrami will, you know, will, will add a certain Je ne sais quoi, you know that a certain that, wildness, a certain yeah. like southern Italian yeah, type wildness. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing the Italian version of this drink. Incidentally, if you don't have any turkey, um, you can use uh, Old Windsor. Then the next thing it calls for is a half an ounce of sweet and sour mix, which actually we don't have. But it says uh, if not available, Bloody Mary mix can be used. Well, we don't even have that, but we do have some tomato juice, brand not important. Um, so we'll just That's add like that. Bloody Mary mix. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Cool, so, oh my God. So there we've added uh, actually a little more than two ounces, but it's okay because we're big guys and we drink big drinks. Oh, and then the last thing that we need is an ounce of root beer schnapps. So there's where the alcohol comes in, because you know it wouldn't be a drink if it didn't have alcohol in it. Yeah. Would it? <laughs> um, uh, oh, but we don't have root beer schnapps. If not available, veal may be used. Okay. Well, veal. Actually, yeah, veal. So uh -huh. um, we actually, now this isn't veal actually. What this is, is um, a, a turkey neck that we've had for a while. Oh, oh gosh, it seems neck, to have grown a little bit. 
Hmm. Okay, yes. So we're going to add this to the drink right now. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. Very, Very tasty. Mmm. 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 A frontal lobotomy. There you have it. Viewer, re viewer requested. J and B made, just for you, as advertised on TV. Remember, kids, party with these. If you're gonna, if you're gonna pop pills, pop these. There is one caveat on the back here, and that's that you you have to be married between two consensual adults. Oops. Hello, uh, editor B like here. On the microphone, I'm here at uh, Bloomington Community Access Television editing this very show that you're watching. I'm not sure exactly what's going on right now, but it doesn't look good. Well, I mean, actually, it does look kind of cool, um, but it's obviously not what's supposed to be happening. They're having some kind of problem uh, with some kind of government meeting that they're supposed to be showing here at BCAT, and so they're kind of uh, messing around with the line, and it, with what they've I'm seen lately, actually not you know, able to um, hey, do anything uh, side, except yeah, kind of Jay look at these strange patterns which are playing across the TV screen. Um, I can only hope yeah, that so uh, perhaps you find them BJ in some way entertaining. Because, after all, my yeah, whole... Oh, what? Well, and there's exactly. Christie's face. So we hmm. the idea of community well, I'm really yeah. confused and now. We're gonna, we're but it's all a part of the magic that is community access television. fun time. I, I learned how to skate. I learned something new. I can't wait to come back and do it again. I think everyone else had a good time too, so. You get the commemorative ice for doing such a good job, B. Wow, the commemorative ice. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. See you later. Take care and uh, uh, tune in next week. Heads or tails? Hey, Jay. Mm-hmm. I have to ask you something, but not not on camera. Okay. Hey, bees coming back. There must be something else going on here. I feel good. I feel at peace. I feel light as a feather, and I feel um, renewed somehow, pumped up. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun, and uh, gosh darn, makes me makes me glad. It really, really does.
Hip Hop Nation. The Hip Hop Nation. The Hip Hop Nation. The Hip Hop Nation. The Hip Hop Nation. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm the host of the award-winning cooking show, Pots, Pans, and Pot. I also host a weekly show here on BCAT called The Video Show, which you can see every Thursday from 10 till midnight, sometimes later. I'm also a community producer, which means I, I make shows and they get played at Channel 3. I have 50 or 60, maybe 70 videos that you can request. They're the ones that say ESAD at the end, E-S-A-D, uh, during the credits, now the word is out. But the point is that I'm not here, that's not why I'm talking to you now in the middle of JMB on the rocks. I'm here because BCAT, Access Television in Bloomington, is in serious danger of being eliminated by the city uh, within the next year or two. Their funding might be completely cut off. No more JMB on the rocks. None of the programs that you've grown to love, I mean, that you can really only see on Access TV, are you going to be able to see. So we need your help. We need to get together and fight this. And if you're interested, write to J and B on the Rocks. The number, the address that uh, B is putting on the screen right here in front of me, right now. O2, by the way. And uh, we can we can get together and and try to save Bcat. Otherwise, all you're gonna you know, televisions is gonna end up looking like this. Alcohol is the most abused drug that we have. And not only the, is it the most abused drug, it's always used as an excuse for people when committing crimes while driving. You know, I'm kind of tired of hearing the phrase, don't drink and drive. Why drink anyhow? What are you going to get from drinking, and particularly you youngsters out there? You know, no one's ever died of an overdose of milkshakes. Produced by a local community producer, I think his name is Paul.